In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying matrices. So let's say if we have matrix A and it has the elements 2, 5, and 6, and matrix B contains the elements 3, 4, and negative 5. So let's find a product of AB and BA. Now, in math, let's say if we multiply 3 times 5 is 15, and 5 times 3 is also 15. When dealing with matrices, the order matters. AB and BA, they will not be the same. So keep that in mind. AB tells us that we need to take matrix A and then multiply it by B in that order. BA tells us that we need to start with matrix B and then multiply it by A. So the order matters. Now before we begin multiplying, let's talk about the order of each matrix. What is the order of matrix A? Matrix A has one row and three columns. So it's a one by three matrix. The way you write the order is you start with the rows and then you multiply by the columns. So matrix B has three rows and only one column. So it's a three by one matrix. So if we multiply A by B, what do you think the order will be? So A times B. So A is a one by three matrix and B is a three by one matrix. In order to multiply these two matrices, the columns in the first matrix has to equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So make sure you understand that. And the order of matrix AB is going to be the product of these two numbers, which do not have to be the same. So the order of AB is going to be a one by one matrix. So therefore, we should have one number in this matrix only. It could be like 7, 12, 15, who knows. But the order of the matrix is basically the product of those two. Now what about B times A? What is the order of that matrix? So if we take matrix B and multiply it by matrix A. What should we get? So matrix B is a 3 by 1 matrix. And matrix A is a 1 by 3 matrix. So we have to make sure that the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, So which we do have, so we can multiply these two matrices. Now the order of the matrix is going to be 3 by 3. So the order for matrix BA, it's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. And for AB, we said it's going to be a 1 by 1 matrix. Now let's confirm that. So let's get rid of some stuff. So let's start by multiplying matrix A by matrix B. So the way you do it is you take all the elements in the first row and then multiply it by all the elements in the first column. So it's always going to be row times the column and then you add the products together. So it's always going to be R times C. So we're going to take this one. It's in the first row, first column, and multiply it by that element in the first row and the first column. So it's going to be 2 times 3. And then we're going to multiply these two. So it's going to be 5 times 4 and then 6 times negative 5. And this will give us only one element. So because we took the elements in the first row and multiplied it by the elements in the first column, we're going to get a single entry in the first row, first column. So it's going to be a one by one matrix. Now 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 4 is 20. 6 times negative 5, that's negative 30. 
and 6 plus 20 is 26. 26 minus 30 is negative 4. So we can see that AB is a one by one matrix. It has one row and only one column. And so it's equal to negative 4. Now let's multiply B by A. So let's show that it's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. So we're going to start with B. So remember, it's row by column. So the first row times the first column. So that's going to be 3 times 2. And that entry is going to go in the first row, first column. So 3 times 2 is 6. So now we're still on row 1 but now we have to multiply by column 2. So that's going to be 3 times 5. So it's going to be in the first row but second column. So that's going to be 15. And then we need to multiply row 1 by column 3. So it's always going to be row by column. So 3 times 6 is 18. Next, we're going to move on to row 2 and then column 1. 4 times 2 is 8. So that's going to go in a second row, first column. And then we're going to have row 2 by column 2. So that's 4 times 5, and that's 20. And then it's going to be row 2 times column 3. And 4 times 6 is 24. So hopefully you're seeing the pattern of what we're doing here. If not, feel free to pause the video and rewind until you understand it. And then it's going to be row 3 times column 1. So negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And then row 3 times column 2. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. And then row 3 times column 3. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. So as we could see, AB and BA are clearly different. And you can see that BA has three rows and three columns. So it's a three by three matrix. So hopefully this example gave you a good idea of how to multiply matrices. Let's work on another example. So let's say that matrix A contains the elements 1, 4, negative 2, 3, 5, and negative 6. And matrix B contains the elements 5, 2, 8, negative 1, 3, 6, 4, 5, negative 2, 9, 7, and negative 3. So go ahead and multiply A times B and also B times A and determine the order of these two products. So what is the order of AB? So what do you think the order is going to be? So notice that A has two rows and it has three columns. So matrix A is it's a two by three matrix. It has two rows and three columns. Matrix B contains three rows and it has four columns. So matrix B is a, a three by four matrix. So notice that these numbers are the same. The number of columns in matrix A is equal to the number of rows in matrix B. So that means that we are allowed to multiply A by B. These two numbers, they must be the same in order for you to multiply the two matrices. Now the order of matrix AB is going to be 2 times 4, or 2 by 4. So it's going to have two rows and four columns. Now what about B times A? What can we say about that? So matrix B has three rows and four columns, 
and matrix A has two rows and three columns. So notice that these two numbers do not match. They're different. And in order to multiply B times A, they must be the same. So therefore, B A does not exist. We don't have to worry about that problem. So let's focus on multiplying A by B. So it's going to have two rows and four columns. So let's start by multiplying row 1 by column 1. So it's going to be 1 times 5, and then it's going to be plus 4 times 3, and then plus negative 2 times negative 2. So you got to multiply these two first, and then these two together, and then those two. It might be wise for me to perform the operation somewhere else. So let me get rid of this. I'm going to put the answers there. So it's going to be 1 times 5 plus 4 times 3 plus negative 2 times negative 2. So this is going to be 5 plus 12 plus 4. 5 plus 12 is 17. 17 plus 4 is 21. So because we multiplied row 1 by column 1, we need to put this answer in row 1, column 1. So this is row 1, row 2, and this is going to be row column 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now let's multiply row 1 by column 2, and that will produce an entry in row 1, column 2. So first, we need to take 1 and then multiply it by 2. And then it's going to be 4 times 6. And then negative 2 times 9. So 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 6 is 24. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. So 2 plus 24 is 26. 26 minus 18 is 8. So let's place that entry in that slot. Now let's move on to row 1, column 3. And that's going to be an entry in row 1, column 3. So we're going to multiply 1 by 8. and then 4 by 4, and then negative 2 times 7. Or you can write it as plus negative 2 times 7. So 1 times 8 is 8, 4 times 4 is 16, negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Now, 16 minus 14 is 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. So we get that answer. Now, let's move on to the first row, fourth column, which will produce an entry in row 1, column 4. So it's going to be 1 times negative 1 plus 4 times 5 plus negative 2 times negative 3. So this is going to be negative 1. 4 times 5 is 20. Negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6. So 20 plus 6 is 26. And 26 minus 1 is 25. So hopefully by now, you get the hang of it. If not, feel free to rewind the video. So let's move a little faster. So row 2 times column 1. That's going to be 3 times 5 plus 5 times 3 plus negative 6 times negative 2. So that's 15 plus 15 plus 12. 15 and 15 is 30. 
30 plus 12 is 42. So we need to put that there. Next, we have row 2 times column 2. So that's going to be 3 times 2 plus 5 times 6 plus negative 6 times 9. 3 and 2 is 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Negative 6 times 9 is negative 54. Now 30 minus 54 is negative 24. And 6 minus 24 is negative 18. Now let's move on to row 2 times column 3. So it's going to be 3 times 8 plus 5 times 4 plus negative 6 times 7. So 3 times 8 is 24, 5 times 4 is 20, negative 6 times 7 is negative 42. 24 plus 20 is 44, and 44 minus 42 is 2. Now for the last entry, we're going to multiply row 2 by column 4. So that's going to be 3 times negative 1 plus 5 times 5 plus negative 6 times negative 3. So this is negative 3. 5 times 5 is 25. And negative 6 times negative 3 is 18. Now negative 3 plus 25 is 22. 22 plus 18 is 40. And so now you know how to multiply two matrices together. And as you can see, we did get the 2 by 4 matrix as predicted. So if you multiply a 2 by 3 matrix with a 3 by 4 matrix, first you must see that these two are the same. And then the order of the new matrix is going to be the number of rows of the first matrix times the columns of the second, which we have here. It's two rows and four columns.